Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over this 2021 Jeep Wrangler 4xe, but I would like to give a special thanks to Dateland, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram for providing with the Wrangler. If you guys are in the market for a Jeep, you can come check out Dateland, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram. But let's start off underneath the hood here of the 2021 Jeep Wrangler 4xe. And you guys know, I'm not a big fan of how you can open up the Jeep hood. I think Jeep should have a latch in the inside so you can access underneath the hood instead of someone just taking a peek underneath the hood here. But open up this, it does reveal Jeep's two liter four cylinder here. It's turbocharged, it makes 375 horsepower, 470 pound feet of torque. It's paired with two electric motors. One is an engine uh, mounted uh, generator and the other one is sandwiched between the transmission. When you combine the electric and gas, you get 49 miles uh, combined. If you just add it just with the gasoline itself, you get 20 miles combined. So with the electric setup, it does give the Wrangler here better fuel efficiency, which I think is really good because this vehicle weighs uh, 5,200 pounds, which is very heavy compared to a gasoline version Wrangler, which weighs around 4,800 pounds. So this vehicle is going to be way heavier compared to a normal uh, Wrangler. And this does use a 17 kilowatt hour battery pack to store the electricity. Uh, but shedding the hood here of the Wrangler here, like I mentioned, you guys know I'm not a big fan of how you can access the engine compartment there, but shedding this back and latching it. I do like the unique blue colors here. You also get these blue uh, recovery hooks here that's a front facing camera of course it does have the jeep's corporate face which is the seven slider grill these headlights here they're full led with an automatic low and high beam with the led turn signal and down here jeep does give you these led fall lights here i'm surprised see there's no front parking sensors here and jeep says you do get 10.8 inches of ground clearance here so this vehicle is still capable of going off road clearance but making our way to the side profile here but before you do that let's look here look here at the hood here i do like this sport type hood it does have the 4x e decal here on the top there's also these heat extractors so you can push out that heat from underneath that two liter four cylinder just in case it does get overheated there but looking here there's this rubicon batch here on the side like i mentioned this vehicle does have this nice blue unique uh, color here this exterior color is called a stingray gray which looks really nice this is how you charge the wrangler here once you click that it does have that nice satisfying click to get a full charge it takes 2.4 hours that's on a 200 and volt, a 240 volt charger here once you do that you can drive this vehicle in electric range only. So if you guys are off-roading, this would be a really good option to save fuel instead of burning through the fuel going off-road. That's the trail rated 4x E badge here. Down here, that's the Jeep Wrangler Unlimited badge here. And it's also painted in this blue uh, as well. But looking at these tires, so these are all-terrain Goodyear uh, tire here. These are a 285-70 uh, tire here. They're having this 17-inch rim design. I do like these silver with the dark finish here. And like I mentioned, you do get 10.8 inches of ground clearance. So this thing is still capable off-road. And just to let you, just an FYI guys, once I open up the door here, uh, looking inside here, this is a little bar here up top to show you when the Wrangler is charging, this thing will light up blue to let you know that it's fully charged or it's halfway charged once you have the charger connected. So I think that's a nice feature instead of you uh, always checking to see if it's charging or not, it will light up blue at the top. The wheelbase for the Wrangler is at 118.4 with an overall lift of 188.4. But making our way to the rear here of the Jeep Wrangler, another thing before i forget again you can also remove the doors and you also can remove the panels to give the jeep an open and airy cabin but making our way to the rear here of the wrangler these tail lights are going to be a full led turn signal in reverse light and brake light and another thing for 2021 you guys cannot open the fuel door from here because jeep has now basically have it locked so if the vehicle is locked you cannot open it if it's unlocked you can open it so now people can feel a little bit more safe with that being the thing Looking here, there's this large spare tire that Jeep gives you the backup cameras here of the tire. There's gonna be LED lights for the tag. There's rear parking sensors. There's the seven and four pin connector. I do like this beautiful blue uh, recovery hooks here. That's also the four by E badge on that side. Open up the cargo back here. I do like this barn opening door here. Once you open it up and lift this area up here, it does reveal 31.6 cubic feet of space. And once you fold down all the seats, it reveals 72.4 cubic feet of space. So even this being with the uh, hybrid power train here, the rear, the battery lives underneath the rear seat. I'm gonna show you guys uh, the battery once I get into the actual back seat. Like I mentioned, it uses a 17 kilowatt hour battery pack. And underneath here, Jeep still gives you some underfloor storage. And I'm gonna show you guys the charging uh, connector here. It's still in the plastic because this vehicle is still brand new. So. I think this is a 240 volt charger here, if I'm not mistaken. So like I mentioned, you can get a full battery charge in 2.4 hours. So getting to the driver's seat here of the Jeep Wrangler, this vehicle does need running boards because it does offer 10.8 inches of ground clearance here. But getting it inside here, I have to hoist myself up into the Wrangler here, but shutting the door here. 
the door sounds nice and solid but to start up the wrangler of course just like every other car just put your foot on the brake and press the start stop button right here once you do that you guys can hear there's no combustion engine and use the electric motors to start up the vehicle here i'm gonna show you guys the key fob here is the same traditional wrangler key fob it has jeep on the back on the back of the key fob here it does have a lock unlock remote start and the panic button does have that switchblade key there but i wish jeep would have did a little bit more with the badging just like how it is in here, has has the nice blue uh, stitching with the Rubicon name spelled out. This is the cloth seat. You can also get a leather seat if you would like. But I wish Jeep would have had a blue Jeep emblem or something. The key fob looks a little plain to me. The materials are very soft to touch here. There's aluminum door handle here, your lock controls, your mirror controls, your headlight controls are over here. This is a manual tilt telescoping wood. It offers a decent amount of range and adjustability. The dashboard here is going to be a nice leather up material. And like I mentioned from the outside scene here, if you guys are want to know the charging stage of the vehicle, once you have it connected, this thing will light up blue to tell you if it's halfway or when it's dead here. Um, once it's fully lit up, then let you guys know that the battery is completely charged. This is an 8.4 inch uh, Uconnect system here. It does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto here. Going to the Google Maps here, it does take up the complete screen here. The touch response on this vehicle, on the screen here is very responsive here. Going here to the Uconnect system four, you can also switch through here. You can also do the drag and drop function. So you guys wanna have your infotainment system on one screen, you can do so. But going here to the hybrid electric uh, system here, it does show you where the power flow is going and whatnot, tell you how many uh, kilowatts that you have used and whatnot. You can also go into an e-save mode if you would like. So you can customize the screen to do different stuff. You're going to the embedded uh, navigation here. It does show you different stuff. It does show you like, for example, you can spell out the screed or you can have the screed uh, there to display here on the uh, system on the screen here if you would like if not most people are going to use the the apple carplay or the android auto here but going back here to the apple carplay does take up the complete the, the complete screen like i mentioned there's these big knobs here for the volume and two knob also for the climate control there's also hard buttons here for the front rear defogger there's a mute button here this is for the max re regen braking so if you guys are used to electric cars if you're um once you release your foot off the the gas it will start to basically slow down the vehicle for you so it can put that uh, energy back into the battery pack this does use a 17 kilowatt hour battery pack this is for the stability control the parking sensors heel descent over oh, the window controls there's a 12 volt here you can also disconnect the front and rear sway bar here there's also some aux ports here so you guys can add an at the market winch if you would like or uh, some uh, spotlights and whatnot put in the wrangling to reverse here it does show you a nice backup camera with trajectory it also has rear parking sensors kicking down here to drive over to the left there's a manual mode here putting it back into park looking at this lever here this is for the two high four high auto four high part-time neutral and four low so you can put that in there like i show you guys from previous jeep reviews this thing is kind of hard to put it into different gears there's a traditional handbrake here there's two cup holders this area here is going to be nice and padded it does a real a two-tier storage here there's also a usb port in there i like how jeep has wrangler spelled out here on the grab handle there which is a nice touch the glove box is very small you can probably put your owner's manual in there and whatnot the seats in here they're supportive they're comfortable i like that there's a cloth and also i like that they have the rubicon name spelled out here with the blue stitching you guys can also remove these panels if you would like there's this frameless mirror here there's the three car garage remote i actually like the blue stitching here on the steering wheel since it's a rubicon trim it does have adaptive cruise control with blind spot monitoring for collision warning so basically this thing will keep you and your family safe on long road trips this does have additional um, analog gauges compared to a wrangler jeep because it does have the hybrid system so it was going to show you how much power you're using or where you're charging the battery but overall the interior of the wrangler does look really nice but let's hop into the back seat of the jeep wrangler so get into the back seat of the jeep wrangler 4xe lifting up the seat here if you guys are wondering where Jeep puts the actual battery pack, they put it underneath the rear seat. And this is a 17 kilowatt hour battery pack here. So you guys can use this thing to go off-roading in electric mode and also hybrid mode. So Jeep did a really good job of putting it underneath the rear seat here. And this does only take up 0.1 inches of space back here. So you still have the same 38.2 inches of legroom here in the Jeep uh, Wrangler 4xe. This vehicle is tall. This does get around 10.8 inches of ground clearance. And unfortunately, I'm only five foot eight, so I do kind of have a hard time getting in and out of this vehicle because it does not have running boards. So Jeep does Jeep does give you this uh, grab handle here. So if you guys are short like myself, you can hoist yourself up into the Wrangler here. But getting back here and shutting the door, the door sounds nice and solid. The materials I carried over from the front to the rear. That's your own set of rear air vents back here. There's the window control so you can let down the windows. There's also a household outlet back here with a USB charging port. The floor back here is flat. You can fit three people across. Putting this down here, 
it does reveal two cup holders and a nice area to rest your elbows. And of course, you guys know this is a Jeep, so you can take off the doors and you can also take off the roof panels here. You guys want to have an open and airy cabin. So starting off in the 2021 Jeep Wrangler 4xe here, like I mentioned from the outside scene, this has a 17 kilowatt hour battery pack. This also has three different drive modes, which is e-save, electric, and also hybrid mode. Of course, you guys know how hybrid uh, powertrains work. Of course, use the, the gas powered engine and also the electric motors in order basically for the hybrid system there. With electric, this thing just drives in electric range only. You get up to 25 miles on a single charge if you were to use electric mode only. And then with e-save, it's like a combination of both uh, hybrid and electric. So a really nice system that Jeep is using here. And this is a plug-in hybrid. And this driving so far is very smooth. This is a two liter four cylinder. It makes 375 horsepower and 470 pound feet of torque. And there's this button here. This is for the max region braking here. So I'm just lifting my foot off the, the gas here and the vehicle is just coming to a stop itself. It's not gonna come to a complete stop. It's still gonna crawl in a sense. You have to basically use uh, your foot to basically make the Jeep come to a complete stop. Visibility is still good. Of course, you guys know the Jeep Wrangler is shaped like a box in a sense. Um, you do, this does come with Jeep blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, four collision warning. So Jeep does keep you and your family safe on long road trips. This does use a Uconnect 4 system, which is a 8.4 uh, screen here. It does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The gauges here are unique uh, to the Wrangler 4xe. It has the uh, power gauge here. So uh, it does show you where the, when it's charging the battery. Also when it's gonna be at 100% and 75% or 50% or when the battery is just basically dead. It does show you that here. You can customize this LCD display screen in the middle and the stitching and also the blue uh, for the outside lets you know that someone actually has the 4xe uh, trim here of the Wrangler. But just driving, these tires are a 285-70 tire. They're wrapped in a 17-inch rim design. That two-liter four-cylinder, I'm not a big fan of how it sounds, but honestly, I do like the regen braking. It puts that power back into the battery pack, and the battery pack is underneath the rear seats there. To um, Jeep put it in underneath the rear seat to keep it from getting water damage, so you can still have this vehicle can still forward underwater. And once you put your foot to the floor a little bit, the electric motor, you feel the surge of torque. It pushes you in the seat. The seats in here, they're cloth. I like that. I like that they have the Rubicon uh, stitched in the actual seat back here. Like I mentioned, the blue stitching is going to be unique to the 4xe. So if you guys are wondering if someone has the 4xe trim, you have to look for the blue uh, recovery hooks and also the blue trimming on the outside and also on the inside if you're able to look inside. Uh, one thing I'm going to say I do not like about the Wrangler uh, brand itself is just anyone can take a look underneath the hood or Jeep uh, by itself. I don't like that someone can just take a look underneath your hood. I just think that's a safety concern in my opinion. Um, for 2021 for this model here, they actually have a lock uh, on the actual fuel cap. So now if the vehicle is locked, no one can access your fuel your fuel, or when it's unlocked, you know, you can just press the fuel door and it opens. If it's locked, you can't access that. So hopefully Jeep will do something about the hood latch. I just think I just think that's a concern in my opinion. But the driving the Wrangler here is really good. I'm just not a big fan of that four cylinder. It sounds a little raspy in a sense, but it does um, give you the, the 470 pound feet of torque if you were to put your foot to the floor. Like you feel the surge of torque. And you can still take the Wrangler off road. So even though this is a plug in hybrid, it doesn't mess up you know, the off-road credentials that the Jeep Wrangler is known for. It does have 10.8 inches of ground clearance. Uh, let's talk about fuel economy. If you guys were just to drive this thing only on gas itself, Jeep says you get 20 miles, you get 20 miles to the gallon. If you were to use the electric motor and the gas uh, together, repair it together, you get 49 miles um, together, which is really good compared to the 20. So it's an increase uh, with the fuel economy which i think is really good because this vehicle is shaped like a box and this vehicle is way heavier compared to a gasoline wrangler this vehicle weighs 50 5200 pounds when the regular wrangler weighs around 4800 pounds so with the battery pack and all the additional components it makes the jeep wrangler way heavier compared to a uh, gasoline uh, wrangler 
but just driving here the powertrain is very responsive very smooth the HP automatic is paired really good here with this two liter four cylinder i'm averaging around 32 miles to the gallon so you still get good uh mpg even with the plug-in hybrid here of the wrangler so after spending time with the 2021 wrangler 4xe starting price here is at 51,000. $695 with the options and accessories including destination the regular stickers for $65,119 hope you guys have enjoyed this review be sure to follow me on Instagram at drive one reviews and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next video